two days of uh, music meets tech, Buma music meets tech at uh, the Eurosonic Noorderslag Festival. Um, you are all, let's meet the Game Changers, uh, a, a group of students um, walking around, talking to people, going to panels, organi organizing a, a panel. Of, um, well, if I have to ask you of the last two days, if there's one thing that stood out uh, for you, what was it? Um, I think eventually for me it was um, but the big data. Um, uh, they are um, uh, they are uh, using it in a way um, uh, which can bring you much more possibilities than uh, than they are using it now. So I think um, uh, the way of looking at it now, how they are doing it, it's it's really good and and suppressive of what and what they all know about us. Um, because yesterday uh, we heard... frightening as well? Yeah. They know yeah. What they know about you? Yeah, yeah, because yesterday we heard uh, from Andy, uh, uh, my but a uh, four and a half, four and a half um, gigabytes of, of, of information is captured from us, uh, from each person here around, uh, here around um, um, by Google, so yeah, that's just a really, yeah, I can't imagine, that's just frightening, yeah. yeah. So, so data was an important uh, subject uh, for you, what you said, what you saw yeah. here, um, uh, and let's, let's, let's ask all of you, so, 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 so if there's one thing, and when you come home and tell someone else what was important or interesting, what will it be? Uh, for me it was the fact, uh, I was really blown away yesterday by all the information that we got, and um, there, uh, they had talked about numbers, and I, yeah, I knew it, but I, um, yeah, I w wasn't really thinking about it. Uh, like uh, the cost of a tour of uh, One Direction, they told us it was uh, about 308 million dollars for the tour. Yeah, that's yeah, big numbers that I, w yeah, I haven't thought about it. So yeah, yeah. new yeah. information for me. Yeah. Okay, and you? Um, well, for all of us, it's the first time being here, and um, so I have to say, yeah, at Eurosonic, and I have to say, I'm blown away by this festival because it's so cool. And so, uh, have you been going to the gigs as well at night? Yeah, 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 and it's a great opportunity to find new music, to find new people, and um, being together with all these, yeah, like the they they are sharing the same. Um, love for the music as yeah as me so yeah it's it's yeah, cool to come together with all those amazing yeah. people yeah. yeah but at the same time so of course that's what people do they, they love to go to music etc but during the day this is a lot of it is of course the business because the data people for example very often the people working in that field of data they seem to be different people to me at least and for example the people of the record companies etc so they come from a complete different uh, um, a different field I don't know if that's a problem, but uh, that's an observation. Yeah, yeah but if you, if you would go to, a, like, for example, a book conference, then you've got lots of different people. Uh, yeah, in, in um, these are all music lovers, and you can see that, yeah, by yeah. far, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I do think there's a difference between it, and uh, the vibes, the vibes really good, and it's easier to to talk to the people who are walking around over here. Because uh, they're all, uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. The atmosphere is good. Yeah. Hey, um, the 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 Buma f th uh, finds it really important that you lot are here because they say, well, we want to hear the the voice of a, a, a next generation and and, and the day um, the the people that. Uh, grew up digital, uh, etc. Um, when you walk around here, you go to all the panels. Uh, is there a difference? Uh, is there an age difference? Are you are you a lot different than uh, the others? Um, uh, we are mostly here because people want to hear our opinion. What yeah. do we think, and what do we expect in the future? Yeah. And uh, that's what we are really doing here. And uh, in our panel, there are discussions and questions. For, uh, what do you think is coming and what do you think about uh, ticketing and what do you think about the data and yeah so much information and uh, yeah so if there is one thing what do you think that is uh, coming what is that what's coming oh. yeah what is coming yeah, yeah. there's a lot coming <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I think um, 
Yeah, more the, the data. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious more about what is coming with the data and what is coming with uh, new innovations. Yeah. So. But will you, um, yeah, for example, okay, we come from a phase where we first, we the LP, then the CD, then the download now, uh, uh, now, now, now streaming. Uh, and and what, what do you think? Is, is a streaming a sort of an end phase? Is, it, is this the way music consumption is going to stay? Or is there something else uh, already uh, coming up? Actually, I have no clue. No. No clue. No. no. <laughs> but I think maybe uh, we're going back to uh, to where we were. Uh, like you said, we had CD, we had, uh, we had vinyl, CD, and now we are streaming. But I, I think we're going back, more back to basic. We are, we are going uh, to buy a more vinyl than, um, and, and we, yeah, but we just really want to touch something. It's, it's just, yeah. We want to go back to the basics. I think that can be a, um, but a prediction for the future. Yeah, hey, and, um, and and if, and if I ask, ask you, uh, do young people? Um, well, where where do they differ from 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 old people in this in, in, in this conference? Not in general, because I understand that. But <laughs> I think we have a, um, um, yeah. But just a other point of my point of view, because. Um, here at the conference, there are a lot of people who are working in the industry, and we are just students, and and we oversee. Um, yeah, yeah, but we see other things than they do, and maybe they are just blind on on the work they are doing, and maybe we can help them to uh, uh, to change their mindset. Yeah, and and are you here because you want to work in the music industry? I really want to work in the yeah? music so industry. So what would you what would you like to do? But I want to become. Um, but a tour manager for uh, for yeah yeah for bands. Uh, you want to travel? Yeah, I want to travel. I want um, I want to work ahead for a band. So so if the band is playing in Munich, um, but I want to uh, but I want to be in Prague to um, uh, to build up the stage and to make sure everything um, will be all right when the band arrives. Okay, nice. Right. And you? Um, I'm doing innovation studies right now. Advanced business creation, but I like to uh, combine that with my passion, and my passion is music. So, yeah. but I'm figuring out a way to do that. So, okay, <laughs> and that's uh, that helps here. And you? Yeah. Um, yeah, my dream is to travel the world while working on festivals. Um, maybe be part of of an organization or an, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just travel the world and festivals combined together. Yeah, yeah and, and helps a festival, uh, an event like this, uh, uh, helps that? Well, in a way, yeah, to share our passion and to, to have your network going, um, yeah, probably. Share your thoughts. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, you see other things in during this conference than uh, you see on a festival or on a concert that we never think about. And now we, we really see it and uh, can share it and yeah. Yeah. Hey, you said you, you study innovation? Yeah. Yeah. So how innovative is the music world? Yeah, very innovative. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then yeah. where do you see the innovation happening now? Um, we just came back from a, uh, of a panel about ticketing and they were talking about that uh, tickets for first were sold uh, on a paper that you had a real paper ticket. Then uh, it became digital. And now it is all mobile. So, but uh, there was a German uh, guy there, and he said, "But our people, our cl c customers, want a paper ticket. They want to uh, show, oh, look what I have, and they want to um, because a ticket is a lot of money. And uh, for 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 months before the concert, you want to uh, see, let your parents see, oh, I got this ticket, yeah. and uh, be enthusiastic." And, uh, otherwise, you only have a uh, code on your cell phone. So that's culture-based as well. Uh, yes. Per country, it can be different. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought, that, yeah, yeah. take your mic. Yeah, that's it. Because there are so many people talking about going forward in the future. And um, I, I, yeah, sometimes we're going too fast, I think. And, and we should take a rest and see what we've got and just enjoy what, yeah, what okay, we are doing. Yeah, yeah. 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 instead of going forward and, and so technology is sometimes going faster than people yes. uh, want to or can yes, or, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. and I think uh, people are going to be sick of it in in a way um, like in the future um, yeah I don't I don't want to live that fast no. at all and, and yeah. I, I guess other people will have the same thing um, 
for example, Spotify wants to um, give you new music every day, um, but I don't I don't know if it has to be that fast in, in future. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to enjoy your bands you already have, that's a better thing, I guess. To yeah. Enjoy the music. I think uh, we are now aiming a lot at 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 the future, but maybe we as as uh, but as the industry uh, need to. I need to take a step back and to look at okay, but what do we have now? There, there are this whole conference is about okay, how is it going to be uh, next year? But but how is it now? We we, uh, but is that clear enough for everybody? I maybe maybe not. I have my doubts about it. Yeah, and so a lot of it is is, is it about uh, of course music meets tech anyway about uh, dig the digital world and, and how that can help uh, in, in what way but the two of you you both uh, like the music or you want to work you say in, in, in the physical world in the experience of the, of the music industry yeah, yeah. So that's what that's, that's what you like better and why why, yeah. why I want to work in the industry because it's yeah the industry is so um, so challenging the um, and no one day will be the same. It, I, I, and that's just, I can't work on an office. It's just, I, I have to do something and, and I have to, um, my passion is, is in, is in um, solving stuff. So, so, I, so, but I like problems. When I, when I see a problem, I, I, I always think, okay, I have to, how can I solve it? How, what's the best way of dealing with it? Yeah. So, and I think in the music industry, but that is, it's the best industry uh, for me to, um, um, yeah, but to accomplish, uh, but that will for yeah. me. Hey, um, you, so you, the group of you is called Let's Meet the Changemakers. So you are the changemakers. So uh, what, if there's one thing that needs to be changed, what is it? So now you have some time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think um, we need to give more attention to the um, uh, to the atmosphere at a festival. It's. It's not about the big names. It's not about about how um, um, okay. Uh, but but I booked the Rolling Stones. No, uh, you have to you have to look. Uh, but what your visitor wanted to see at your festival. It's not only about uh, uh, the bands, but it's more about the environment. Which vibe do you give as a festival? I think that that has to be more um, that that has to become more important for a organizer. And it's what the cost is doing that very well now. But they are not aiming at the bands, and yeah, and the lineup is okay. But 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 it's not like Pink Pop or Lowlands. But they but they took in a weekend 100, 180,000 people. So they are doing something really well. Yeah. And I think other festivals have to look at that to um, yeah to keep at the ambience. Yeah. And you? Um, I want to bring the fan and the artists together. So uh, yeah, more the experience and um, yeah. 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 Okay. And you? Um, <laughs> what kind of change? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm I'm a first year student, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do later on. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm what part of the music business I'm going to take place in. And, no. Uh, hey, do you do you all make music? Do you make music yourself? I used to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. no, uh, no ambitions on that uh, field. Well, I'm I'm better off being behind the music instead of... Uh, yeah? Yeah, I, I used to play in a band and it, and it was lots of fun, but um, yeah, not... No, it's no. not worth... Yeah. No. And Nobody do you, do you wants to listen to it. No? Yeah. <laughs> you, do you make music? Uh, I dance, so uh, also uh, to do with music, but yeah. uh, I like to pick up my guitar again, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, you? Yeah, but I'm a bass player, so... Um, but I'm not doing it as much as I want to because... And I'm not good enough at it, so so I thought, okay, uh, I'm going to work backstage, and then uh, I will help the others. Okay, hey, thank you very much. Uh, there's another day for you to, to go. I assume tomorrow you're here as well, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we did, this is our last day, so um, I wish you all, uh, all all the luck, the wisdom, and a lot of fun, and uh, go and see the the best band around uh, today and tomorrow. So Thanks. Thank you very thank much. You. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, this was another uh, interview session from um, Buma Music Meets Tag in Groningen Eurosonic Noorderslag Festival. Um, 
There's one last session we uh, we have left, and it's to know who is the winner uh, of the startup competition of the 12 startups that you've seen earlier on today. So that will be here a little later. Thank you.